Yes, sir. Let me see where we are here. We are on. Boy, live in one second. I think that might be us. Because I, I hear us so. and I see us right <laughs> there. Oh. Yeah, we got a few people hey, watching. Jim Ross is on. Hey. Welcome back, Jim. Hey, Cindy, good to see you. <clears throat> Mike, wherever. Hey, hey, Joel. You look awfully snazzy today. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? <laughs> what time is it, Keith? It is time for Smack and Jack New Year Countdown once again. Yay! Yes. Happy New Year. Very happy to, uh... Yeah. Are you going to set our clock or something like that? Well, that's our countdown. Oh, it's already? Okay. Yeah, it's counting down. Yeah. Wow. It is counting uh -huh, down nice. to the Smack and Jack New Year, folks. Wow. So you, you are in the that. right place yes. at the right time. Well, the you ball's know... going to drop in exactly 23 minutes. We could have made it bigger, but I didn't want it to dominate... No, are set here because and we didn't you know, know how to. We were gonna get that magnifying glass that just makes everything look bigger. You put it in front of a small TV. Right now, it's already teetering on yes. this box. We uh, have it set. Disaster. <laughs> right. Hey, so. we got a great show for you today. We're gonna do our prologue. We got a couple of things. Uh, yep. You know how a Christmas and all that. Back in Jack prologue. We got uh, some jokes. We got some New Year's trivia. Uh, how do you keep those resolutions? We got trivia answers and an ever popular birthday minute. We got a lot of people on birthday minute this week. Yeah. A lot of yeah. celebrities. So grab your coffee, sit back, relax, enjoy the tie. We'll be right back. Here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacking Jack Live with your co-host. <laughs> Control our red head. Welcome once again. Right. Welcome, well, uh, yeah. Guys. Welcome, guys. Good morning to you. Can we bring up our uh, audience back here? Yeah. So we're gonna say goodbye to our timer for just a minute. Just a minute. And we're gonna bring up our audience, which is um, morning, Barbara. Which is uh, myinstance.com. Uh, I can't even want to load some things uh, down here. Applause. <laughs> Yay! There we go. All right. So normally we have. Hold up the sign. Stop applause. Let him know Stop the balls. Stop the balls. So uh, normally we have this uh, sitting uh, down here on the desk, but we needed it as to uh, be our counter. So, it's so now it. everybody knows we don't have an actual studio audience. <laughs> oh well. Uh, well, well, uh, you know. Uh, 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 uh. Man, my hat, brother Keith. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I just enough, like that one. Enough. Okay, enough. let's go back to the show. What do okay. we got going on today? So our, our prologue today. Uh, first off, Merry Christmas. Uh, we hope that everybody had a fantastic yes. uh, Christmas. Uh, and we're still in the Christmas season. I think so. Right? It yeah, seems it's like twelve every, days of Christmas, right? Right after Christmas, every, all the Christmas stuff goes away. But yeah, I saw a post at Walmart on December twenty sixth had all their Valentine's Day stuff up already. <laughs> yeah, all the chocolates are out Another there. Another reason not to go. Well, no, we'll yeah, get into yeah, that right, some right. other time. Okay. Um, and then Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year is just a couple days away. Yeah, today's the 29th. Uh, 30, we have the 30th, 31st. 31st. We are getting and close. Yeah, so Happy New Year. We, we hope that um, you have yourself all set up. You have your resolutions ready to go. Do you yes. have yours? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll just use the ones from last year. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, still, we're I'll just recycle. dust them off. Yeah, yeah so you know what? Um, it, it, it's kind of like shopping, last minute shopping. This yes. is last minute uh, New Year's resolution. Yes, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, champagne. Oh, champagne, yes. Yeah. Well, what, what about champagne? Champagne, everybody uses uh, for, for is uh, Dom Perignon first discovered it. He was uh, he's a monk, and I believe the story goes he was going down to check on his wine in his, in his wine cellars, and he opened up a bottle, or a bottle popped, and it was all fizzy. And that's when champagne was first discovered. So it was an accident. Accident, yes. Uh, the way the, the wine was fermenting. And champagne can only be made in the champagne region of France. Yeah. Uh, all other champagnes come from California. They should say a method de champagne. 
And what's champagne. that mean? Made in the method of champagne. Got it. But it's not... It. Uh, everything else is just sparkling <laughs> wine. Uh, some stuff's even sparkling apple cider because we're PG here today, folks. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so... Yeah, and I always thought champagne was champagne, but it is uh, yes. legally... Uh, yes. It can only be called champagne yes. if it comes from... From that region. From the France. region, yes, yeah. correct. So. Yeah, interesting. Yes. Did not know that. Did not know uh, that. We got to point out our nice attire, too. This is just a, just a throw in here. I don't know if you can tell this is an actual bow tie. I didn't tie it. I wrapped it around my neck. Yeah. Joel has an actual tie on. Yep. Yeah. Well, we yeah, figure we do a little bit a little, yeah. uh, formal this right. time of year. Right. So. New, Year's, New Year's celebration, we're going to dress up just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. Just right. enough. You know, too much and nobody would know who we are. That's right. So. They'd skip right by us on the, yes. uh, on the Facebook. On the and, dial. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right to the next post. So right. uh, uh, before we move on, we do want to thank everybody uh, who has been with us over the course of the year and of course of the last few years actually. Yes. But uh, we have we have a number of people who watch us either live or who come back to see us either on um, YouTube or right. Facebook uh, and then comment and so forth. So uh, we appreciate that. We enjoy just kind of being goofy most of the time. Yep. Um, and then also bringing you, you know some um, some infor information like education and yes. goofiness yes. Is, is pretty much what Smack and Jack is about. And we it's not that we teach a whole lot, but we do we do kind of you know kind of bring things to your attention yes that's right you know, so then it's, it's your job to go out and do some exploration exploration uh on the next step there so it's, everybody has coffee this time of morning yeah. uh, time of day on a saturday morning so thank you for stopping right. by uh i think we've been doing this regularly how long has it been uh um, has it been two years this, i mean we've been, been doing about um yeah it's coming up on two years yeah okay because we've March, been doing be some smack and jack videos that we yeah. did uh you know periodically but we've right. been doing this just about regularly on Saturdays for a couple of years. Yeah. So. so thank you. Yeah, thanks for stopping thank by. You. And uh, you know what? 2019, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do even more. Yeah, you can't get rid of us. We're here now, <laughs> folks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's right. You know, so uh, let's move along. We yeah. got some jokes. We do, we do have, have jokes. jokes, and this is our last show of the year, folks. Yes. The last show of 2018. Wow. 2018. Yeah. So we're on to 2019. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And this hat, man. This hat, this is going to stay put. As you can tell, this is the same hat we used from last year, and my strings get a little uh, from sitting in the basement for. <laughs> Me too. Mine's actually, uh, I guess, on the right way. Last year it was that's right. It was backwards. In the middle. And, and your 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 strap seems to be pretty tight yeah. and everything. Your heads well, must have gotten bigger. I think it did get yes. <laughs> so, all right, let's get on to our jokes before we put our audience to sleep. Here, all right, Pete. all right, let's do a couple New Year jokes, and. Uh, Oh, okay. You my, have the uh, you have the drums and you have the audience. Right, right. Uh, small crowd. Be a little bit tougher today. We need a rim shot there. Okay. Right. What do you? Uh, what do cows celebrate on December thirty first? What? Moo Year's Eve. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you find comedians on New Year's Eve? Where? Waiting for the punchline. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bravo. All right, now we have goes too long. Yeah, now we have applause. Uh, and can you hit it again to stop it? There, yeah, we, there go. we go. Nice. What do you call this is our final joke, folks. Okay. What do you uh, call always wanting a date for New Year's Eve? What? Let me say that again. What do you call always wanting a date for New Year's Eve? What? Social security. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, and they are not from the Joker. Yeah, either. sorry about that, Brad. Yeah, we're we're going to uh, get back to that. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, we're going to get back to that yes, fine yes. volume of jokes uh, next week. What are you looking for now? Yay. All right. So, okay, let's move into our New Year trivia. So get yeah. your fingers ready. Uh, a little bit different from years past. So we'll have a question, and then we'll have a multiple choice oh, um, okay. set nice. of answers there. So nice. we'll go through all the trivia. And then we'll go to how to keep those New Year's resolutions. Okay. And then we'll come back and answer the trivia and see how we did. Okay. okay. So go ahead and start typing in. Um, you can put down like number one. Uh, you think the the answer is uh, C or something like that. Okay. You, okay. So join us. Let's have a little fun here, folks. Okay. All right. So moving into and that doesn't necessarily mean the answer is C. <laughs> we haven't even heard the question yet. Correct. You are giving yeah. it for instance. Exactly. Yeah. Don't. Don't think just, I just gave away an answer there. Exactly. Right. Because I thought you did. I just wanted to clear it up. <laughs> Maybe I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go, folks. Smack and Jack New Year trivia. And here we go. Get ready to start doing a little typing there. Let me make sure everything's coming up right here. You can see us. You can see the trivia. All right. Here we go. 
The first ball to be dropped in New York's Times Square happened in what year? Okay, the first ball to be dropped in New York's Times Square happened in what year? 1908, 1925, 1938, 1962. And I have to say that mm. all these uh, trivia questions are from holodappy.com. Yes. Okay, make sure I give a little credit. And there. I guess we can say, it, it may, this one's a little tough because the ball, well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. And Moving I on, stop. <laughs> the first time that January 1st was celebrated as the beginning of the new year was in 153 BC when the Romans moved the first month of their calendar back to January. For what reason did the Romans do this? Wow. To coincide with elections, the highest ranking Republican positions? To honor the god Janus, god of beginnings and transitions. More sacred sheep were born in January than in February. To honor Tabasco, god of hangover <laughs> relief. Okay. I'm going to put so, in my answer. why did the Romans move uh, uh, January to be uh, the first month? All right. Number three. <laughs> in 567 AD, the Council of Tours prohibited the recognition of an official new year. Why did they do this? <clears throat> okay. They believed the end of the world would happen soon. They disliked that the date was originated with pagans. To move the date to August 9 in order to replace the Frankish holiday of stickball day with less athletic <laughs> themes. I can't even get through these. Because they were just a bunch of grumpy old geezers who hated celebrating anything. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. So 567 AD, the Council of Tours prohibited the recognition of an official New Year. Why did they do this? All right. What famous Frank was born in Bayonne, New Jersey? Did I say that right? January, Bayonne, yep. January 1st, 1938. Was it Frank Sinatra, Frank Langella, Frank Beamer, or Frankenberry? Oh, okay. Frank moving on. Frankenberry. Okay, what famous Frank was born in New Jersey, January 1st, 1938? Moving on. In 18 or 1583, what event returned January 1st as the observation of New Year in Europe? A severe earthquake in Portugal? Papal fear surrounding a dire prediction by Sir John D. The institution of Gregorian calendar, the 67-year-old Queen of Spain took her first bath. <laughs> Some of these answers are yeah, pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. And it's, All right. you know. All right, let you see that for a second. Moving mm -hmm. on. On January 1st, 1788, the Pennsylvania uh, Quakers did what? Disavowed Quakerism, emancipated their slaves, officially denounced the Amish as heretics, or opened the Quaker Oats Company. Hmm. Very interesting question here. That is a, yeah. All right. Just making sure I'm still on here. All right. The lyrics of the now traditional New Year's uh, song, All Lang Syne, began as a poem set to the tune of a much older Scotch folk ballad. Who wrote the poem? John Keats, Robert Burns, Lord Byron, or Dr. Seuss? Hmm. Uh, That's a tough okay. One Yay. All right. All right. A few more here, folks. January 1st, 1877, what happened to Queen Victoria Britain? She got married, she celebrated her 50th birthday, she was proclaimed Empress of India, or she got stuck in her throne requiring three hours of manpower and 20 pounds of butter to get her out. <laughs> All right. And shall we do one more? That's a good one. On yeah. January 1st, 1906, the government of the Netherlands made what law? Mandatory licenses required for driving engine-powered vehicles, a national census, recognition Dutch, as of Dutch as national language, or prohibition of wearing of lampshades as hats. Huh. What is, these are tough. Yeah, what do we got here in our timing here? Yeah, let's take a look here. All right, oh, we have yeah. 10 minutes to our countdown. All right, so I'm gonna cut these trivia, actually, let's do one more. Let's okay. go all the way up to number 10 here. All right, much to the dismay of millions on January 1st, 1945, this person announced they were not a god. Who was it? Stalin, Hiro, Emperor Hirohito, Gandhi or Clark Gable? Well, that's a tough one, too. Yeah. All right, so we're going to end it there. I got a whole lot more, but we need to end it there. So okay. let's now go to, okay, so we only did 10. Let's go now and talk about uh, New Year resolutions. Okay. Um, we, we make a lot of New Year's resolutions, and my thought was, you know, how many, what's the percentage, who keeps them, and all that, right? Right. So mm -hmm. let's find out. All right. So this is for 2018. I couldn't find one for 2019, but I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of similar. The most common New Year's resolutions for 2018. Let us know what, what you think you might have here and uh, if, if your New Year's resolution is actually on this chart. Okay, okay. so eat healthier, 37%. Get more exercise, 37%. Save money, 37%. 
Now, if we add all these up, I'm not sure if they add up to 100% or not, but uh, right. <laughs> I did not yeah, do any of those else. mathematical statistics. Focus on self-care, 24%. Read more, 18%. Make new friends, learn a new skill, get a job or get a new job, <laughs> take up a hobby. I don't plan on making New Year's resolutions. 30%. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually, and I've done that in the past, just say the heck with it, because right. my uh, plans usually go awry anyway, so. Okay, well let's find out um, professionally what we can do to help ourselves keep these uh, resolutions. Okay, okay, let's do that. So, research suggests that approximately half of all Americans make New Year's resolutions, yet only 8% actually achieve them. So, this article here is um, uh, some, some points made by Dr. Paul Marciano as to how we can help ourselves keep those New Year's resolutions. Okay, number one, clearly define your goals. Many people, are we good? Boy, what's, what's that? Oh, that's yeah, our, that's, that's uh, what we're watching okay. here, yeah. Clear to define your goals. Many people in the spirit of New Year's loudly proclaim, this is year I'm going to finally get in shape. But what does that mean? Do you intend to lose a certain number of pounds, reach a, a, a body fat, run three miles without rest, bang out 10 pull-ups? Um, Dr. Marciano is a fan of goals that are specific, measurable, and achievable, relevant, and time-bound. The first step to behavior change is to clearly understand what it is. Okay, I agree with that. So don't make such a general, right? You know, general, I'm going to do, yes. you know, whatever. And I we've talked about that uh, going back to the four percent group and mm -hmm. you know writing down your goals and so forth. So this is right in line with that. <clears throat> okay, number two, track your progress. If you can measure it, you can change it. Is a fundamental principle of psychology. These measurements will be a source of motivation as you reflect on where you started and where you are. They will also help you. We have seven minutes, folks. They also help you identify uh, st your sticking points in your progress so you can adjust your efforts, okay? okay. So, yeah. you know, measure what you're doing. Yes. Have patience. You must set realistic goals and realize that progress is never linear. Some people will see rapid gains only to hit resistance later in their efforts. For others, initial progress may be painfully slow, but they suddenly achieve rapid breakthroughs. Making lasting changes take time. Okay. Making lasting changes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Publicize your goals to your friends and family. Now, this is one that I read in the book by Onyx Single okay. that I brought in a couple weeks right. ago. Mm -hmm. As embarrassing as it might be to announce your specific resolution to the world, social support is critical. Yes, it takes some personal courage and vulnerability to share something that you might actually fail at, but to dramatically increase your odds of success, you'll want support from those around you. Okay. So if you let people yeah. know what your goals are, um, they will help you, and it also kind of gives you a little bit of accountability that you, you've told everybody right. what you're going to do. Right. So, so now you have to do it. Now you got to follow through. Right. Yeah. Okay. Put it on your schedule. How often do you hear people say they can't find the time to do something? Nobody finds time. We all choose to spend our time the way we do, whether it's eating junk food or going to a uh, spin class. Make your new goals a priority and actually schedule them into your calendar. If you have a fitness goal, schedule time for your workouts. If you want to declutter, schedule time to clean and clean out your closet. If you want uh, to save money, put it in a weekly budget review on your Sunday afternoons. Ooh, Think of these time sense. blocks as important appointments, just like an appointment with a doctor. Don't automatically schedule something else over them. That which is scheduled gets done. Okay, and again, that sense. goes back to our list making, yes. you know, putting, yep, you know, yep. making time. Write things down, yep. Yeah, so these are some things that we've already touched on mm -hmm. here at uh, Smack and Jack. All right, let's do one all more. Right. Uh, I guess we have time yeah, we for one more. Uh, two more. Stop all or nothing thinking. It's better to do something than nothing. Are you guilty of all or nothing thinking? Do you ever think, well, I might as well get dessert since I already ate those french fries. And then I blew my diet last night, so I'll just start restart it next week. The difference between going something doing something rather than nothing is huge. If you don't have a full hour to work out at the gym, just decide to make it the best 20 minutes you can. If you have a slight cold or minor injury, decide to just walk the track for a couple miles instead of, you know, like 10 miles. <laughs> if you have a financial emergency and can't save your full 10% this month, save what you can. The bottom line is any effort towards your goal is better than no effort at all. I'm guilty of that sense. sometimes yes, too. Makes sense. Right? Though. All right, Matt, this is our last one. Get up when you slip up. None of us are perfect. As the great Vince Lombardi said, it isn't whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up. Resiliency is the key. Don't turn relapses or temporary failures into total meltdowns or excuses for giving up. 
Instead, just acknowledge the mistake and recommit to the path. Dr. Marciano firmly believes that achieving your goals isn't about willpower. It's about developing the right skills and strategies that with patience will lead to success. Keep these seven secrets in mind in, I scratched out 2016 and put in 2019, wow. and you'll join the elite 8% who will be celebrating their successes later in the year. So, oh, good. Um, very good. I think that's some um, good information mm -hmm. that we can all uh, live by and think of as we go, um, you know, our yeah, course. Yeah, we just saw Joey name. check in. I think it might be the first time Joe has checked in with nice. us. Nice. Happy right. New Year, Joe. Bravo. Good to see by. everybody online today. Yeah, we got quite okay, a Okay, so yes. we, have, we have four minutes left until our um, official uh, Smack and Jack countdown. countdown. Yes. So do we have time to do our trivia? We, we uh, can we get into the trivia. trivia. We might have to break. We'll, we'll start answering some of the trivia answers, giving okay. you some of the trivia answers. And then um, let me get back to where I was here. And then uh, we might need to take a break to get into the ball dropping. Okay. Okay, we're going to yes. start the ball dropping probably around about three uh, and a half bit, minutes. Yeah, here. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, folks. Hopefully, and this we is all as did professional well. as Dick Clark does it. Yeah. You know, he doesn't say, we're in the mid middle of a bit, we're going to wait till, you know, we're going to wait a couple going? minutes. The ball drops when it drops, you know, yeah, so it, we got to stop what we're doing. Exactly. Right. Okay. So let's do a little bit. By of, the way, I was going to do my Dick Clark impersonation, but somebody thought it wasn't in good taste, so I don't think I will. <laughs> All right. Brad knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, go ahead, Troll. Okay. <laughs> let's find out what the answers to these uh Trivia questions yes. for the day are. Well, who do we have? Uh, we got some. Yeah, we things. have we have some responses here. We got. Uh, okay. Do you see Myron's on? Michelle, good to see you. All right. Who else do we have on here? I think Joy's on. Good morning, Joy. Yeah, Myron is on. Yeah. All right. So we have some. <laughs> yeah, we have Myron. question answers yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the first ball to be dropped in New York uh, Times Square. Ha Times Square happened oh, in what year? What are you going to say? I'm going to say 1925. 1925? All right, let's find out. The we answer have, is... Well, wait a minute. We got Brad saying C, uh, 38. And I think that's all we have. Yeah, for answer number one. Okay, okay. what do we have? The answer is... A, 1908. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, 1908. I would have thought it was that Yay. early. Right. Very good. Great. Okay. Very good. All right, moving on. Number two... The first time that January 1st was celebrated as the beginning of the new year was in 153 BC when the Romans moved the first month of their calendar back to January. For what reason did the Romans do this? Um, to coincide with the highest ranking positions, to honor the god, more sacred sheep, to honor Tabasco, god of the hangar relief. Uh, How many people put down D? Just curious. Up, uh, Brad did. <laughs> yeah, good job. Uh, All right. Whoever said B, I believe it's on this one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with B, too. Okay, shall we uh, find the, the answer? Hydranus. Survey says A, oh, to coincide okay, with the election yeah. of the two highest yep, ranking yep, yep. Republican yep. positions. Okay, so that, okay. again, you can do a little bit more research on this because, um, you know, all the research we do is right off the Internet. <laughs> right. <laughs> In 567, the Council of Tours, where are we here? Uh, Ooh, we minute, have yeah. one minute. The Council of Tours prohibited the recognition of an official new year. Why did they do this? They believed the end of the world would happen soon. They disliked the date was originated with pagans. To move the date to August 9th in order to replace the Frankish holiday of stickball day with a less athletic-themed celebration. Boy, that's a long because they were just a bunch of grumpy old geezers who hated celebrating anything. All right, uh, three. Do we have anybody who has three here? Number three, no. All right, so let's find out what the answer to three is. Three is B. They dislike the date was originated with pagans. Okay. How okay. about that? Yeah, they dislike sense. that interesting Man, fact. We've got 29 seconds. We have, oh, we oh, gotta, yeah. Gotta right. All right, so, so we're going to put this on. Yeah, let's put this on put hold this on for hold. just a second here. And let's go to our ball dropping celebration. You got the ball going yeah. on. Where's the? Do we open this now? Or, or? Uh, let's open that when we're done. Okay. Where's our ball? Because we, we have ball. twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Everybody, get your. Uh, <laughs> everybody. Oh, uh, this Here is going to be ball. something else. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Happy New Year! Oh!
this down? Yeah, you put it down. Uh, leave me hanging there with my high five. That's fine. That's all right. All right. High five, Joel. Happy New Year. So oh, back that up there. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Woo-hoo. We did it again. Yeah. Let's get that. Let's get our uh, got some champagne. Let's get here. our champagne going here. Wherever you are, I hope you're uh, toasting with your cup of coffee, whatever you might have there. Here's my glass, brother. brother. Oh, this looks like some wonderful, yeah, wonderful look at that. sparkling, look at that. bubbling apple uh, champagne. Boy, I tell you, this has been one heck of a good year, Joel. And I got to tell you, man, I love you. This is just <laughs> most fun I've had on Saturday mornings in quite a while. So we're going to take a minute here, yeah, folks. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year, Happy everybody. New Year, folks. Happy New Year. Happy Smack and Jack New Year. Happy Smack Jack 2019. 2019. Can you believe Holy it? Holy cow. Can you believe it? Yeah. All right. Raise your glass, folks. Cheers. Salute. Yeah. Nice vintage. Yeah, so... Boy, go ahead. That was any sweeter, I'd have to go right to ICU and get some... Uh, <laughs> uh, when you have diabetes. So, if you have underage folks at home, this is something really good to have fun with them, right? Where's the... Uh, what's his name? How about we bring this down a little bit? Cool and again? Yeah. It's cool and again. Cool again. Uh, there you go. Yeah, oh, so, no. <laughs> so we, we, we wish you all, all drunk here. A, a fantastic New Year 2019. Yes. May okay. all your uh, all your wishes come true, all your yeah. New Year's resolutions, and may you keep watching the show because it's just going to get better and better. Our show gets better yes. and better. It gets funnier. Uh, some say more embarrassing, but I'm, I'm cool with that, you know? Yeah. I'm to the point so, in my life where if you can laugh at me, I consider it with me. So, uh, (laughs) happy new year, everybody. Okay, cheers. Cheers. One more time, brother. Cheers. Cheers. And let's not forget the ball one more time, then we'll get back to our... Yeah, we'll finish up trivia, we'll do our birthday minute, we'll get out of here. Yeah, start your your new year. Start your new year on a good note. Note? Yay. All right. right. So... Let's get back Uh-oh. to our trivia. I know these fun. hats. What you know what? For these? next year, I think we're going to have to get new hats. Yeah. At least new strings. Or a couple of staples. Pachoon, pachoon. <laughs> Power nails. Okay. okay let's, let's get back, back to, to our uh, our trivia. We'll finish up there, folks. And then we'll get to our birthday minute. Okay. So we have just a few more to go here. Let's see how we did. So we're up to number four, right? Whoops. Uh, two, three, four. Here we go. What famous Frank was born in Bayonne, New Jersey, January 1st, 18, 1938? Anybody uh, get that? I'm going to say Frank Sinatra. What, what, we're on number four. Yeah, we have an A. Yeah. Brad says A there. Okay, so let's find out. The answer is B, oh. Frank oh, Langella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, it is Frank Langella. Yeah. Okay. Langella? Langella. I think it's Langella, yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay, well. In 1583... In 1583, what event returned January 1st as the observation of the new year in Europe? The answer is... Anybody have this one down? I didn't, I didn't see a number five down anywhere. Yeah, I think our audience is C. starting to get sauced for the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, C. All right, next one. Okay. On January 1st, 1788, the Pennsylvania Quakers did what? Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm just about Quaker. Uh, emancipated their slaves. I'm going to go with. Yay! Oh, not bad. Right. Okay. Or the key. All right. Next one. All right, number seven. The lyrics of the now traditional New Year's song, All Lang Syne, began as a poem set to the tune of a much older folk song ballad. Who wrote the poem? I'm going to say John Keats. John Keats, survey says... B, oh, Robert Burns. Robert Burns. Robert, Robert Burns. Oh, I should have known. Of course, old language. That's uh, that's Gaelic. Yes. O- o- old language. Come on. On January 1st, 1877, what happened to Queen Victoria of Britain? Anybody put down a number eight in here? All right. Let's have the answer to number eight. Answer is C. She was proclaimed Empress of oh, okay. India. Oh, Very good. interesting. All right. We have two more here to go, folks. On January 1st, 1906, <laughs> the government of Netherlands made what law? Uh, census. I'm going to go with B. A. 
Hey, oh. mandatory licenses required for driving engine-powered vehicles in 1906. Wow, now, how, there's yeah. probably about three people in the Netherlands yeah, that had right. engine-powered vehicles. And last one. Much to the dismay of millions on January 1st, 1945, this person announced they were not a god. Oh, and wait a minute. Who was we have, it? Uh, uh, Anybody have that one? Brad had something. All right, let's find out yeah, here, folks. He, here at Hito, uh, Barbara said. Here we go. B. Oh, yay. very good, Bravo. Barbara. Okay, yes, very Bravo. good. Bravo, yay. Yeah. Okay, oh, so. Means it's, uh, yeah, very. Quite astute this week. I would yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. doing a nice job. Very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do uh, small crowd. Small crowd. All right, Keith, I think All that right. brings us Ooh, to our you. birthday minute. Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to have a sip of Champers. You know, we have so much liquid going into our body at this particular Yeah, we might, have to, uh, we have to, we might have to have a commercial to break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, birthday minute. Okay, okay. shall we get on to our birthday, birthday minute, minute, Yeah, and then get Stick out of here. We're running and we're going to get out of here. Okay. All right, so if you have a birthday, your name is coming up next. Here we go. And now it's yeah, time for the Smackin' Jacks birthday <laughs> minute. Celebrity wise, all right. Uh, we got a lot celebrity wise here. Uh, Jude Law, English actor, was born this day in 1972. Ted, Ted Danson, uh, famously known for Sam Malone from Cheers, born 1947. Mary Ann Faithful, she's an English singer, born 1946. Uh, John Voight, uh, actor, born in 1938. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore, born this day in 1936. <laughs> Andrew Johnson, the 17th president of the United States, ah. took over after who? Uh, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. Uh, this day in 1908, he was born. Uh, Charles Goodyear, sounds like the Goodyear blimp, right? Yeah. Uh, he was born this year, this day in 1800. He was a self-taught chemist. Now, how wow. are you a self-taught chemist? And uh, he yeah, invented, in uh, he developed vulcanized rubber. Oh. So that's thanks <laughs> to him, we can all drive around in cars. So, yeah. uh yeah, very good. A lot, of, a lot of birthdays. What do we have closer to home here? Okay, today? so off to the birthday minute around town here. We have, starting today, got a little percussion going on. Okay, we have. Same thing in there, too. Um, today? Yeah, today. Yep. All right, well, who? Uh, my good friend Bing's Yay. birthday today. Happy birthday, so happy birthday to Bing. Bing. All right, and then uh, we have Charles today, okay. Saturday, the 29th of December. All right, moving on okay. to tomorrow, Sunday the 30th. We have Amanda, Lynn, Saprinye, and Tony. Brother Tony, happy birthday, guys, on Sunday the 30th, which is tomorrow. Yay. Okay. All right. Monday the 31st, which happens to be New Year's Eve, All we right. have Jen, Jonathan, Chris, and Marshard. Yeah, happy birthday, guys, on New Year's Eve. Tuesday the 1st, New Year's Day, we have... Becky, Don, Eric, Esther, and Phyllis. Yay. Wow, a lot of people on New Year's Yeah, Day. a lot of yeah. people on Tuesday the 1st. Sorry, I had to scroll down there to see everybody. All right, Wednesday the 2nd, we have Hassan. Happy birthday on the 2nd. Happy Hassan. birthday, Hassan. And on Tuesday, I'm sorry, Thursday the 3rd, we have Jim. Happy birthday, Jim, on the 3rd. Happy Yay. birthday. Friday the 4th, we have Paul, Laura, and Jess. Happy birthday, guys, on Friday the 4th. And next Saturday the 5th, we have Mata and Ruth Ann. Whoa. Happy <laughs> birthday, guys. Mata and Ruth Ann. Next, Happy birthday. Next Saturday Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, you guys. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves out of the birthday minute. Here we go. And that was the Smackin' Jack Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. Well, I tell you, you know, <clears throat> not to bring up Dick Clark again, but, you know, we did what he did in five hours in about 45 minutes. That is true. 40, yeah. 40 minutes. We had the ball dropping there. We yeah. had a little bit of rock and roll you know, there. We yeah. had the old traditional all-lang Maybe next year we'll have, what's the new guy, C-something or other, C-crust? 
Brian. Oh, uh, Brian Seacrest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not going to have him stop by, ladies and gentlemen. But no, uh, no, 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 no. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll be up there in Times Square. Somebody hey, catches. Uh, yeah. Somebody catches hold of this particular That's this feed, and we're yes. Maybe in jail, but we might be up in New York <laughs> next right. week, the next year. So <laughs> incarceration is not a yes. question, right? You know, now. I mean, we can hang this from the. Uh, off of yeah, the, uh, right. The railings. Of yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, Why all not? right, folks. Uh, I think that's it for our final show of, of the year, 2018. Yeah. Wow, so, I got to tell you, Joel, it, it was great. It was great yeah. uh, spending Saturday mornings with you and with you guys. Yep. Thanks for joining and, us uh, today, yes. folks. Um, so we'll be back for our first show of the new year, hopefully next Saturday. We're gonna do next Saturday, that okay? Because I'm gonna be goal. around if you're. Yeah. Around. yeah. Okay. So uh, we're looking so, forward to that. And we didn't mention it was a beautiful day out today. Usually when it, we do this show, the last almost seems like a year it's been raining every raining single Raining on year. Saturday. Yeah, well, we had a rain yesterday. Yes, it we got that out of the way. All day yesterday, flooding, this, that, and everything. Yes. But uh, so the sun is out today. I actually went for a little tiny run this morning. I did. Um, I actually, well, I, I walked fast to the car out, out front. So, yeah. <clears throat> well, I cut my run short because I remembered I had to get milk. Okay. And I could not have breakfast without milk for right. the cereal and the right. coffee. Yes. And mm -hmm. I knew that yeah. Caroline would have been yep. completely upset without milk. <laughs> right. So, anyway, All right. So thank you once again. Yeah, we're going to move out. So uh, thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, happy New Year. Make it great. And uh, we'll see you all. And remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2019, folks. See you later.